Hello everybody, this is Codan50, and I wanted to show you a uh, small redstone project that I've been working on for a small while, not too terribly long. Um, I've been doing redstone circuitry for only a small portion of time now, so I'm still very much amateur at it. But it seems pretty logical enough, so I thought I'd throw together a small little experimentation. Um, what I wanted to do here was... Oh, it's quicker. What I wanted to do was make these four dispensers shoot at a constant rate, but I wanted it to do it so that way I could get it as quickly as possible. Um, I keep running into problems with redstone where I'll use a really fast tick, but it won't shoot very fast. In fact, if I try to go any faster than what I've got right here, then they don't seem to shoot at all, which is fine because I don't know how to make it any faster than what I've got right here. Now, Here's how this circuit works, and you'll probably be able to take a look at it and laugh because there's probably a more efficient one out there. But this will do two things, and because we have repeaters here, I'm going to follow the first one. As soon as, as soon as we hit the switch right here to reset clock, the first one that will happen is it will follow this circuit all the way to the sticky piston, which when brings this down will stop this circuit right here, dead in its tracks. So if it's on, it will stop it, and especially like right now where it's on constant, then this will stop the circuit and it'll reset it. Now, as soon as that comes up, that'll be enough time for these repeaters to complete the circuit there, or, or complete the timing. This will turn off. As soon as this one turns off, it's going to turn both of these torches on. However, because this torch is linked into this torch in this method, this torch will turn off the instant it turns on, and then that will create a fresh clock. And then from there, we are good to have ourselves a clock. See? So we tap it, and boom, it flicks. And the way this is built is it'll happen every time. Um, I'm going to see if I can put a button here. See if I can show it happening at the same time. There we go. Yes, hello little slime. Okay. So, now that that's going on, and now that we know that the clock is working, let's go ahead and flip our lever to the on position. Oh, yes. And there we have it. A nifty little uh, kill machine. And we are going to try this now. Or not. That's cool. That's what I wanted to do. <laughs> Sucker. Hey, you fool. Get back over there. Okay, apparently I need to make this a little bit more escape proof y like. Which is cool. We can do that. I have no problem with escape proof y like. There we go. That's more escape proof than I can. Almost. Um, it's not the it's not the nicest redstone circuit I've ever done, but it is one of my better ones. However, because I'm still a, very much an amateur at all forms of redstone circuitry, um, I'm sure you could probably come up with tons and tons of ways to improve upon this. Don't break anything, please, slime. Don't break anything. I'm sure you can come up with tons and tons of circuit designs to improve upon this sif simple little clock. Um, but other than that, yeah, I mean, that's my little shooter. I'm a little shooter. It's uh, a little bit bigger than it really needs to be, but, you know, that that's cool. Um, just to kind of show you on my server, I'd actually been working on the same thing over here, and that's a little bit uh, different from this one, which is the same exact thing, only it's lever-controlled. It kind of uses the same thing, but it really kind of doesn't at the same time. Honestly, I don't even know how I got this one to work, but this kind of does the same thing when this turns on, except for this turns itself off instantly uh, because of this repeater and that repeater, and yeah. So, I mean, you could do it one way or the other, whichever you find is more convenient to do. Um, I'd say for servers, this one's probably better because that way you're not wasting... Uh, CPU time on these redstone interaction happening. Um, that way you can have better control over it and it's probably going to be easier to turn on and turn off when you need it. Uh, but yeah, that's uh, that's my little one tick clock. Thanks for watching.